Good morning and welcome to Comarnock and to our online service for Boxing Day. We wish you God's richest blessing this Christmas time and we hope that you enjoy sharing in our worship together today as we once more recall the Christmas story and think about what it means to us as we approach the end of what has been another difficult year for everyone. Now, I hope you managed to share in our watch night Christmas Day service yesterday, but if you missed it, you're in for a treat as you can binge watch it straight after this. Once again, on the first Sunday of the year, the 2nd of January, we're giving you an opportunity to share a Christmas or New Year greeting with the whole church family. And if you would like to do that, and it would be a really nice gesture, especially now that we are back online only, then please send either a photo or a 10-second video along with your greeting to email uh, churchokilmarnock at gmail.com. And if you can do that by the 27th of December, that's just tomorrow, then we will be delighted to share your message as we begin a new year together with God. I'll hand you over now to my friend Taylor, who has his own word of welcome. Thanks, Jim. Good morning and welcome from Church Online Kilmarnock and to this service of worship for Sunday, the 26th of December 2021, Boxing Day. It's a day to relax, to look back over Christmas Day and the celebrations, to clear our head. I enjoy a walk along the water where I used to stay in younger days. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope and pray that you have had a peaceful and loving Christmas Day. Whether sharing together with loved ones or simply by the fire and the warmth of your own home. Be blessed by the Saviour's birth and the good news he is to bring. Please join me in prayer. Oh Lord Jesus, on this Boxing Day, we celebrate your birth in Bethlehem, a birth that changed the world forever. We rejoice that the future of the world was shaped by your coming 
and transformed by your life. Help us today to start again. And we remember how you brought a new beginning to so many different people. To Mary and Joseph on the night of your birth, to countless others you encountered in your ministry and to generations since, offering us the opportunity to let go of the past and embrace the future, secure in your forgiving love. A new chapter has begun. Help us today to start again. And so we come on this morning of Boxing Day, recognising our need and our dependence on you. We come to hear again the good news of your birth and the glad tidings of the dawn of your kingdom. Hear us now as we pray together in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen.
Let us pray. Remind us, Lord, this day of just why we worship you. Remind us, Heavenly Father, of the wondrous things you have offered each one who calls your name. Remind us, O Lord, of the great gift you gave this world. A gift so rare, so unmerited, that we can often forget the true meaning of your Son, Jesus, whose birth we celebrate at this time. Blessed God, we praise you each day for all your love. We praise you each hour for all your guidance. We praise you each moment for releasing us from the grip of evil. And we praise you that in faith we are yours, that we are free to follow you, to come before you. For you, almighty God, while reigning o'er us in might and majesty, came to us in gentleness and humility, in the guise of a child. Lord, as we bow before you, we do so in that same humility, for we know that we fall short of your ideal. Yet in your kindness, merciful Father, we can ask your forgiveness. We ask your renewal. And we seek your blessings this day and always. Lord, hear our prayer through our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. When the King of Kings was born. When the King of Kings was born, he chose his parents from among the little people of this world. And the simple people of the district were the first he invited to his cradle. Those who slept under the stars of heaven and could hear the angel's voice. It was only then that he received the great ones of the world. They were also his children, but their lives were threatened by glory and honour. He called them, but they were so far off that the journey took them a long time. Those mighty kings announced their arrival with expensive presents, but first they kneeled down. Humility was their real gift. They kneeled down after the shepherds. That is how Christmas was, and that is how it will be until the end of the world. The land of the tribes of Sebulun and Naphtali was once disgraced. But the future will bring honour to this region from the Mediterranean eastwards to the land on the other side of the Jordan. And even to Galilee itself, where the foreigners live. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. They lived in a land of shadows, but now light is shining on them. You have given them great joy, Lord. You have made them happy. They rejoice in what you have done, as people rejoice when they harvest their corn, or when they divide captured wealth. For you have broken the yoke that burdened them and the rod that beat their shoulders. You have defeated the nation that oppressed and exploited your people, just as you defeated the army of Midian long ago. The boots of the invading army and all their blood-stained clothing will be destroyed by fire. A child 
is born to us, a son is given to us, and he will be our ruler. He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. His royal power will continue to grow. His kingdom will always be at peace. He will rule as King David's successor, basing his power on right and justice from now until the end of time. The Lord Almighty is determined to do all this. Amen. Stables and sheep are easy to grasp, tangible, solid objects held fast by gravity strong and history told of that place far away, that story of old. Like donkeys and inns with straw-covered mangers, where babies are laid in the presence of strangers, there's a sense of the right, a shout of the known, the coming of light in this haylined throne. It all makes sense. And so we embrace this space, this moment where rhythm and rhymes break step and eternity slides into time. But of angels and starlight, prophecies, dreams, we fear to rush in lest we travel beyond where everything seems logical, sensible, explicable, right. Yet... In a moment apart, gazing up, heart undistracted, away from the clamour and unending noise comes mysterious whisper to feel and rejoice. For the sight of the stars always makes me dream, dream of further and deeper, of something beyond, of wise men and prophets in stargazing bond, of hope that won't stop at what's known. For knowledge transcendent is deeper than doubt, and hope that goes further demands that we shout, he is here, he has come. The sight of the stars always makes me dream of something beyond, of his presence unseen, where logic and certainty both find their place within the eternal, full of truth, full of grace. And the sight of the stars is a glimpse of the more, a tear in the canopy, half-opened door, a beacon of hope in the darkness around, a whisper so tender that a way can be found. And stables and shepherds, donkeys and inns have their place in this story of God breaking in to the dirt, to the desperate, sad and the bleak and the lost and the troubled, the humble and meek. But the sight of the stars and the prophecies spoken, the stories of angels are mysterious tokens of promise and hope and a saviour alive and the sight of the stars is a glimpse of the moor a tear in the canopy half opened door a beacon of hope in the darkness around a whisper so tender that a way can be found and in a moment apart gazing up heart undistracted, away from the clamour and unending noise, comes mysterious whisper to feel and rejoice.
the birth of Jesus. At that time, the Emperor Augustus ordered a census to be taken throughout the Roman Empire. When this first census took place, Quirinius was the governor of Syria. Everyone then went to register himself each to his own town. Joseph went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to the town of Bethlehem in Judea, the birthplace of King David. Joseph went there because he was a descendant of David. He went to register with Mary, who was promised in marriage to him. She was pregnant, and while they were in Bethlehem, the time came for her to have her baby. She gave birth to her first son, wrapped him in strips of cloth, and laid him in a manger. There was no room for them to stay in the inn. There were some shepherds in that part of the country who were spending the night in the fields, taking care of their flocks. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone over them. They were terribly afraid, but the angel said to them, Don't be afraid. I am here with good news for you, which will bring great joy to all the people. This very day in David's town, your Saviour was born, Christ the Lord. And this is what will prove it to you. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great army of heaven's angels appeared with the angel, singing praises to God. Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to those with whom he is pleased. Oh, child. 
Please join me in prayer. Lord, our Father, we come today on this, the last Sunday of the, the year, and as the year rolls on and a new year arrives, we give you thanks for 2021, for the year that has gone. And we thank you for the joys that we have shared and for the fun we've had. We thank you for being part of your church family and for the faith that shapes our lives. We thank you, Lord, that you were there with us too in the darkest of days, that your love was our constant support when our hearts were broken. And so we pray this morning for all whose hearts are heavy at this time. Lord, hold them in your healing love. And Lord, as we surrender this year to you, today we bring to you our failures and our disappointments and our pain. And we lay them at your feet. Make us now a new people, eager for your way, a people confident of your sustaining love for today, for tomorrow, and for all that lies ahead. Lord God, today we pledge to you our loyalty and our love. And we pray for this world, for peace on this earth and for goodwill shown to all peoples. Lord, give us now the courage that we might go forward to face 2022 with the confidence and in the strength of your love. In Jesus' name. Amen. It came upon the midnight clear that glorious song of old from angels bending near the earth to touch the harps of gold through all the earth goodwill and peace from hems all gracious king the world in solemn stillness lay to hear the angels sing with sorrow brought by sin and strife the world has suffered long and since the angels sang have passed two thousand years of wrong the nation still at war Hear not the love song which they bring. Oh, hush the noise, cease the strife to hear the angels See 
born. She laid him in the manger to sleep, as there is no cause. He was a very special baby. He was a special gift to all of us from God. God's Son became a human being. All our efforts to understand this great mystery are in vain. All that we can do is what the shepherds did. Worship, believe and praise God. <laughs> 